Alright, so the pet spotlight for today will be on the Hydrolene. Hydrolene is a really good tier 1 pet, thanks to his ridiculously overpowered shell armor ability. There's currently only two pets, and I guess there's three now, now that Crusher's in the game. Crusher is basically just an ore eater. He's, he's literally ore eater, the only difference is that he has crush as an option for one of his basic attacks instead of punch, <laughs> but he'll still be taking like the same abilities, plus he has different breeds available to him. So yeah, anyways, it's basically the Hydrolene and the ore eaters who have shell armor. Shell armor is, it's like a upgraded version of, whatchamacallit, this ability right here. Where is it at? Shell Shield. Shell Shield is the ability with no cooldown which reduces 94 damage from each attack for you for 5 rounds. On the Emperor Crab it basically means he takes no dot damage unless mm, it's like a doom. Even then he still takes a lot less because of his racial. On the Hydrolene with Shell Armor up he takes no damage from multi-hit moves including dots and uh, he just takes very, very reduced damage from everything else besides just really hard hitting abilities like lift off or deep breath or stuff like that. Abilities you don't see very often in PvP. So while shell armor is up for three turns, you're basically not taking damage, which allows him to do a lot of damage in return. Where do you get the Hydrolene? Well, uh, I bought mine off the auction house, but I buy most of mine off the auction house. That's the only thing I really use my gold on is buying pets. But if you don't want to do that, what you do is you head to the Spires of Iraq. I'll put a little map up on the middle or to the right side of the screen. You have to kill a Hydra named Varasha who spawns when you click on an egg and then you just loot it from her. Or it. I'll use a gender neutral pronoun. And that's it. He's pretty easy to get. I think. I'm not really sure. I didn't actually get it. I just read this off of Wowhead. So if you want that, you can just go to Spires of Iraq, go into the cave, kill the Hydra, get the egg, and you get yourself an overpowered Hydra lane who's definitely one of the stronger tier 1 pets. Now, why is he so strong? Well, shell armor. If you're not taking shell armor, you're doing something wrong. You need to take shell armor because it's the best. For his other two abilities, you have a little bit more leeway though. Because Call Lightning, it's nice ability. Like, it does uh, decent damage for its cooldown. It's a little bit harder than a basic attack, and the actual storm effect itself doesn't hurt you while shell armor is out because the extra damage is completely negated from shell armor, so you'll be doing a little bit extra damage for the three turns you have shell armor on, but then you'll start taking a little bit extra damage as well. Just call lightning is really good for dots, so makes hydrolene really good in dot teams. And being able to change weather is really good if you're going against a darkness team, because darkness teams can actually kill your hydrolene <laughs> really easily because darkness teams are all about just hitting you really hard with single target abilities which are what it's like the only way to beat uh, a shell armor user plus he's a aquatic type and most darkness teams actually use a uh, flying type abilities which he's weak against uh, but since he's an aquatic type he's also really good against undeads making him really good against the meta which is just another bonus for him yeah uh, he's already with shell armor, you basically just don't take any damage from undead pets. And yeah, so his other ability in this slot is just Swallow You Whole, which is a basic attack which deals double damage if your opponent's below 25% health, which isn't really all that useful because usually when they're below 25% health, the initial damage it does is more than enough to kill them anyway, so the double damage isn't really needed. Usually you just take Call Lightning because you have another basic attack on this one. For these, you can either take Tail Slap or Deep Bite. They're both situationally useful. Tail Slap is usually the safer choice because it just does random damage. It either does a tiny bit of damage or a lot of damage or somewhere in between. It does random damage from 230 to 441. 441 is a lot, 230 is kind of weak. And I usually hit on the low end with this, I don't like using it. That's why I like to take a Deep Bite instead. Deep Bite is like an Arcane Blast ability. Arcane Blast uh, does more damage the more times you use it up to a max amount of damage. Deep Bite starts off with a tiny bit of damage, 154. It increases by 77 each time you use it up to a maximum of 463. You need to use Deep Bite four times before you start hitting at max. While with Arcane Blast, you'll need to use it twice to start hitting max damage. Here, let me bring out an Arcane Blast user. See, Arcane Blast starts off like his power is actually a lot less than the Hydrolene and it starts out with a base of 210 damage while Deep Bite only starts with 150 which is really bad that's like as much as a single flurry hit 
So Arcane Blast is a little bit better, but it only ramps up to 350 damage, while Deep Bite can ramp up all the way up to 460. So it does, it has a higher amount you can actually use it. It really rewards you for staying in on the Hydro Lane and just using Deep Bite over and over. Because once you get it to max damage at 460, you can basically like two to three shot pets because it starts hitting really hard. And since the Hydro Lane is really good at just living for a long time, thanks to shell armor and how ridiculous it is, like I'll be surprised if it's not nerfed by the end of the uh, this expansion because it's really just that good. Uh, yeah, he's able to live for a really long time, so you'll you'll be able to stack up Deep Bite no problem, and then you'll just start tearing apart your opponent's teams. I've been in situations where I was on my Hydro Lane and I just basically 1v3 my opponent's team because they weren't able to kill my Hydro Lane on their first pet, and then I ramped up Deep Bite to max damage and I was just two shot in his pets while surviving with Shell Armor like crazy. Well, not two shot, and you can it's basically like three shot in pets. Two shot if you get like a crit, it's usually three shots, but it's still a lot of damage if you ramp it up. While Arcane Blast, it does hit hard if you ramp it up, it doesn't hit as hard as a Deep Bite fully ramped up, even if it does ramp up to its max damage a little bit quicker. So, in some essences, Deep Bite is really good if your pet can live for a long time, which the Hydra Lane can, but eh, I don't know, they, they both have their benefits to it. I, I prefer Arcane Blast because it has a higher base damage than this crappy 150. That's so low. Like you have no idea. Uh, okay, so yeah. You can just take Tail Slap if you don't want to have to worry about that at all. Or if you plan on switching out your Hydrogen a lot because the stacks do reset if you switch out. They also do stack if the attack is blocked or dodged. So if your opponent's using, like, I don't know, a rabbit who uses dodge and burrow and you just keep spamming deep bite, all of those misses do count to ramp it up, so by the time you do hit the rabbit, it's going to be hitting for a crap ton of damage. Or if it's blocked by, like, a... what should we call it? A decoy. It still ramps it up. So deep bite, it'll be ramped up even if it doesn't actually hit. So if, Also, if you're blinded too, it'll still ramp up the damage. So if you get hit by a blinding poison, you'll still be able to ramp it up. So it's pretty nice for going against other tier 1 pets, because even if they're dodging like crazy, you'll eventually hit them, and you'll hit them for a crap ton of damage. But if he switched out by something like a, a fiendish imp, then it just resets his stacks, and it's kind of useless because he'd try to stack it up again. So situationally useful. I like to use it, but you can totally just go with Tail Slap if you don't want to deal with that headache. And usually there's no real reason to take Call Lightning, I mean Swallow You Hole over Call Lightning, but if you really want another basic attack, like if you want to use Swallow You Hole, because it is a decent basic attack, it does 300 damage. 300 is like baseline for basic attacks, that's like what all of them are based around. If something does a little bit more than 300 damage, that's a pretty good basic attack. Basic attacks, of course, are abilities that don't have cooldowns or do special effects, like burn. This one does, like, a medium of 300 damage, which is not half bad considering he has the medium attack. Six, 260 is like the normal attack for pets that don't have a, a modifier, or who don't have lower than normal attack like rabbits do, because rabbits have inflated speed values, that's why they have lower attack, but they're still pretty good. So you could just take Swallow You Hole if you just want to, you know, take Deep Bite and you also don't want to risk being switched out and completely resetting it and being reliant on only Call Lightning to do normal damage. But uh, this, the usual one is either always Shell Armor, Call Lightning like 90% of the time, and then it's a throw up between either Deep Bite or Tail Slap depending on your preferences. I only like take both of them sometimes, but I prefer Deep Bite since he's able to live for a long time. Unless... Like I said earlier, you're going for a build where he switches out a lot, then you want to take Tail Slap. Because if you're using him like on a dot team and you just want him for the Call Lightning effect, you might just want to take Tail Slap because you'll probably just be using Call Lightning and switching out anyway. Alright, and I don't think I really... I think I covered everything. There wasn't that much to talk about with him. I told you where to get him. Here are all the teams I have him in. The team with the most success I've had with him was... Was Shark Week really? Huh. Three and O. Oh. That's pretty. Uh, pretty good. Usually, I don't ever go three and O. Oh. Uh, normal team is usually like two and one. Three and O oh must mean I went against a bunch of really bad pets, or this team was just really good. 
He's a really good pet though, and plus I also didn't really start keeping track of it until later on. Hamlet's play is probably the best team I have him in, and it doesn't really take advantage of anything he does in particular, it just has two other really solid pets with him. 